Right, so The Flash has a trailer. Um, yeah, this is supposedly the end of the the DC EU and the start of the DCU. I have to address the uh, the elephant in the room. The first, uh, firstly, I refused to make a video on any of Ezra Miller's many dramas and many controversies and many just straight up illegal behaviour. Um, and we're we're now at a point, and well, I don't really know if I can make a video reacting to the trailer of the Flash movie without addressing that the person playing the Flash is a convicted criminal. Um, obviously, I don't condone any of, of Ezra's behaviour. Um, and But I think for the... for the... like... The ease of this video and for the ease of just until this movie comes out and hopefully they are recast until that uh, until that happens we can just treat this as a movie and treat Ezra like just an actor playing a role and then when the movie comes out if you want to watch it, that's fine. I know I, I'll be watching it. Uh, I don't know if I feel necessarily good about paying uh, paying money to see a movie with a an actual convicted criminal in it. But you know, we we paid money to see movies that had Kevin Spacey in. People paid money to see movies with any old actor that we now have found out is a terrible human being so I think um I don't think that justifies it and obviously we're going in with the knowledge of Ezra is insane psychopath sociopath possible child molester uh we're we're going in with that knowledge uh but i think i think there is more to this movie than just ezra miller's bad behavior uh so i think um it's one of those moral quandaries where i i respect people who who decide Oh yeah, I just don't feel good watching this movie. I wouldn't feel good watching this movie if I if I didn't have this YouTube channel or like or or anything. I would just wait for this movie to come out on 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 Sky or on HBO Max or whatever. I wouldn't pay money, but because I have the YouTube channel, because I I have to get everything as as soon as possible. I I kind of have to and. You know, yeah, and I don't want I don't want spoilers for for what the the upcoming DCU will look like, and this is apparently going to show what that will look like. So it's an important movie in that respect, and I just hope that it's good because it needs to be with all the controversy surrounding it and the cancellation of the Batgirl movie, which was going to introduce Michael Keaton's Batman before he came into this, uh, then yeah, I, I, this better be good, but, tell me something, you can go anywhere, I don't know if I like this suit, another timeline, another universe, so why do you want to stay, oh okay, and fight to save this one, <laughs> This is the world where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. 
different people, different worlds. Okay, so it it Drawing definitely is Flashpoint then. Magnets. My face. So my face. If you were oh, as, it, uh, as if one Ezra Miller wasn't bad enough. Have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. This can't be happening. I completely broke the universe. Sad. We've been waiting for you. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Okay, well, well it's not shock. You're, but that is still very are, cool. Yeah. I'm Batman. Okay, yeah, that's very cool. I can't undo what I did. If I can't get back, that kind of looks like the dark, the Dark Knight bat, bat cycle. What's the play, Batman? What do we do? We try not to die. Not Clark. My name is Kara. I, I'm well, Barry. Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna want to see this. Okay. Uh, also, anyway, let's just watch the trailer. Showing off showing off uh, comics at the end i like i like that that's a thing that dc is doing now marvel get your act together show the comics and show people where to buy the comics uh somewhere um the movie's got everything in it and i don't think that's a good idea I mean, I know this is the end of the universe. Everything's coming together. We're, we're just going to throw... Basically, this Flash movie is going to be our end game. And that's fine. Michael Keaton coming back as Batman. He's going to have a, a big role, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't mind that. Kara, Supergirl. I don't know if I like the casting have to see her in the movie see what she's like in the movie um again the the whole the whole like two two flashes thing i would i would prefer i i don't know if i like the it's man of steel again because it flashpoint is cool flashpoint's a cool story it's the end of the universe before the new 52 so it makes sense that that would be the story that you do for the end of your universe that makes sense is michael keaton playing because it's the it's the 1989 suit right and it's um it's just, it's a, it's a really, really cool suit, but he can't turn his neck. Um, so that's, that's cool. But because it's Flashpoint, is he Bruce Wayne or is he Thomas Wayne? That's the big question. Um, I think, I think just avoid all of the controversy with Ezra Miller. I think it is, it is adding salt to the wound that there's, that there's two Ezra Millers in this movie. Um, that, <laughs> again, again, this movie was filmed and made before before they decided to 
become a become a criminal and um, possible child molester but but i think it looks without the controversy this movie would look fun without all the controversy as a as a movie on its own great it's a it's a good trailer it shows a lot of the movie without showing us all of the movie it it looks it looks good it looks fun do i think it looks like the best superhero movie ever made no do i think it needs to be no do i think it needs to be a solid fun action movie with the flash yeah would I prefer if this was just the Flash running, uh, or just a guy that runs fast fighting the rogues? Um, you have the first couple seasons of the Flash for that. Uh, this movie wants to be something different. It wants to be, you know, uh, it wants to be a big, epic end of universe movie, and that's what it's going for. And I can't say I hate it. You know? I can't say I hate it. Um, I can't say I love it either. But I can't say I hate it. Uh, I do love Michael Keaton though. Michael Keaton is pretty much great in everything that he's in. So that is the that is the one reason to watch this movie for my, Michael Keaton Batman. Uh, possibly Thomas Wayne. Possibly. I, I think I, am I the only person that's that's thinking that that could be Thomas Wayne? Is everyone else just like oh yeah it's Bat it's it's Bruce Wayne it's Batman Michael Keaton we you know uh, I I might be the only one thinking oh they might be doing they might be doing an actual comic thing in there uh, because because DC seems to be more pro comics than Marvel at the moment. And that's gonna be that's gonna be the thing that I continue to champion them with, is that they're they're actually pro comics, which is which is you know really really good because you know you should you should champion the source material, you know Harry uh, the Harry Potter books or the Harry Potter movies championed the source material, um, so I think. I think yeah, you need to do more cross promotion between movie and movie and uh, or at least movie trailer and uh, comics because the comics are still in go ongoing. This is what a lot of people a lot of people don't uh, don't understand or don't get. Like people that only watch the movies and don't watch the comics, they think they think everything in the comics has been and gone. No, the stories are still like ongoing. Comics are a soap opera. It's a it's a soap opera with people in 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 uh, in tight spandex. That that's essentially what it is. Uh, so yeah, it's why it's why my channel still exists. It's why you know there are so many comic books, and there will continue to be a lot of comic books to uh, to come uh because it's an ongoing serialized fiction it's not you know it's not something that has a end point unless if it's a mini series then it has an end point but you know steam it in all there flash movie looks okay it looks good uh <sighs> taking away all of the controversy there's Ramilla. um it looks like a fun movie and that's all I can really say. That's all I really want it to be. It's just a fun movie with a lot of good action. Yeah. I I like it. I like the trailer. Sue me. I know I'm going to get... Uh, I know there is... There's a lot of... Uh, controversy surrounding just saying you like something and just saying you don't. You can, you can like something and know that... The main person in that thing isn't a great person, and you can you can still enjoy something while not condoning the actions of the lead star. And I think that's what that's what I'm doing. So, the Flash, 
it looks great. It looks good. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this movie. Whether you're whether you're going to see it. Whether you've made up your mind of you know uh, whether you've made up your mind of yeah I don't support Ezra Miller's actions so I'm not going to watch this movie or I'm still going to watch this movie because it's it's the end of the universe and I love the Flash as a character so because I love the Flash as a character and yeah so I I will I will be watching this movie because I love the Flash as a character I love the DC the DC like comic world and those characters are really cool and you know i just and also it's kind of my job so yeah i will i will see you guys in the next video hopefully you enjoyed this one um the guardians trailer came out today as well or yesterday as well so i'll get a reaction to that up and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next one base.